In the 1960s, a very successful artist from California called Walter Keane opened a gallery here at 798 Madison Avenue in New York City. It's now a men's clothing store. Keane was well known for his very distinctive paintings of young children with huge sad eyes. But Keane was not the man people thought he was. He was a fraud. It was his wife who'd done the paintings, although he took full credit. The eyes are the windows of the soul. That's why I paint them so big. I've always done it that way. Why are you lying? Now the story is being told in a film in which Christoph Waltz plays Walter Keane and Amy Adams, his wife, Margaret. It's directed by Tim Burton. I adore you big eyes. It was just so strange and unbelievable, you know, the truth being stranger than fiction. And, uh, you know, based on these images and the dysfunctional relationship that they had, uh, I just found it, you know, fascinating. Maybe I could sign it myself. That sounds a bit confusing, doesn't it? Keen means me. Although Walter Keen quite clearly committed a fraudulent act, Christoph Waltz avoided playing him simply as a fraud. He sees Keen as more complicated. Well, I certainly should hope so. I mean, he would be the only one on Earth who isn't. Um, who isn't more than one thing, who has um, no conflicts uh, with himself, with others, um, who is not in relationships that, that either support or contradict his, his path in, in his life. Um, that's what makes for stories. What is troubling you? I lied to my child. I'm just not that kind of person. Is your husband that kind of person? The whole story begs the question, why would Margaret Keane let her husband take credit for all her much sought after paintings? Well, I, I think that when it started, um, when she found out about this deception, he had already been lying for quite some time and, and making money. and he told her that they would have to give the money back and she would probably be held responsible for it as well and and uh, nobody would take her seriously. All the things we show in the film. He sells paintings and he sells pictures of the paintings and he sells postcards of pictures of the paintings. Do you think for you it was a bit of a creative departure, this work? Because y y you do hew to reality most of the time and in a lot of your other films you move towards fantasy, don't you? Well, I, I think I have trouble I blurring the, the state of fantasy and reality, you know, because they, you know, I grew up on fantasy films, and when they speak to you, they can be more real than any sort of biopic or whatever, you know, if it speaks to you on an emotional level. And so, you know, even though this is sort of based on a true story, it's got a kind of a fable, kind of fairy tale aspect to it. You are the only living soul I can tell my secret to. Walter Keane died in 2000, but Margaret Keane is still going strong in her 80s. She's seen the film. No one will ever know but you. Well, she said that the first time she saw it, she, um, she was completely overwhelmed and, and kind of felt almost traumatized for like two days. It was like almost too much. And she's been able to see it again. And I think that um, in kind of watching her go through this experience a little bit and doing interviews with her, there's kind of this blossoming that's happening. And she's trusting that people are believing her and receiving this well. And um, and so I feel like she's finally kind of enjoying the attention that she always deserved. Amy Adams and Christoph Boltz excel in this story of a fabricator and dysfunctional marriage. Some of the complexities of the relationship feel a little glossed over, but it is an engrossing picture with strong production design that overall confirms Tim Burton's skillfulness as a director.